one is a poem called Young Water Eyes about the Cider House Rebellion. Okay, my click. My click. My click. Okay, I'm going off vocal mic. Young water eyes look down from the sky for April time with bated breath. Sleepy hands from the earth undress pale green life emerging from death. Shadowed water, breathing mist, early sun tinted green and gold. Underwater they shake their heads and rise to watch events unfold. The gleeman once he said to me, now warmth is rising, flicking its golden tongue. Listen to a tale long, not so far and not so old, to banish the dark and revive the untold. They rise as one, and wake the green, unfurling lives of new memories. And these words he spoke of a time waking with those green reveries. Two men threw the half-light as a cloak over their four shoulders and shivered with the green dark, creeping to claim those withholders. Coveted harvest calls to their hearts. Time steals moments for picking and reaching the boughs, colouring leaves, red and yellow fruit. Rain permitting, bannam orchard, the sun sets west. Summer long fruit now lies to rest. Lord Bannam casts his juridicial eye and claims the best. Two men press at his behest. Two men dressed in the half-lit wood step onwards to the now-changed fruit. Three casks of cider, golden glory, ten shillings each, mines resolute. Run they did, wearing cloaks of the fen, cloaks they borrowed from the green men, reaching aspens bent for a roof, three casks for two hidden in the den. The Lord he woke to news of theft, tales whispering of two men in the night, yet search the green waters far and still, thirty shillings sunk and drunk in spite. Elm and white willow make the house, cider turns green, the men of the ham, outlawed and hiding, with smoky fire outside, Green and gold combine in the cider house's band. The wolf shadow of two stalks on ahead. The brigand's estate opens with dread as green steps pound on the cultivated land. Trembling rebellion raises its hand for years later, certain evildoers are sought, but they rise in gold and green light on the fens unseen. Two men steal through in the dark, golden eyes to lead their way to the lark. Fruit of their labour fermented help to take back the land that they lost in the wake of the Lord and the Earl and the Duke. The green men rise beyond rebuke. The wolf shadow of two stalks on her head. The brigand's estate opens with dread as green steps pound on the cultivated land. Trembling rebellion raises its hand. Fruit of their labour fermented helps take back the land. They lost in the wake of the Lord and the Earl and the Duke. The green men rise beyond rebuke. The Cider House Rebellion 
whispers on. Early sun, tinted green and gold. Warmth is rising, flicking its tongue. Banish the dark and revive the untold. Young water eyes look down from the sky for April time with bated breath. Sleepy hands from the earth undress. Pale green life emerging from death. They rise as one and wake the green unfurling lives of new memories. In these words, we spoke of a time waking with those green reveries. Two men steal through in the dark, golden eyes to lead their way to the lark. Fruit of their labour fermented helped take back the land they lost in that wake of the Lord and the Earl and the Duke. The green men rise beyond rebuke. Green steps pound on the cultivated land, trembling rebellion raises its hand. The cider house rebellion whispers on. Early sun tinted green and gold, warmth is rising, flicking its tongue. Banish the dark and revive the untold. The cider house rebellion whispers on. Early sun, tinted green and gold. Warmth is rising, flicking its tongue. Banish the dark and revive the untold. Run they did, wearing cloaks of the fen cloaks they borrowed from the green men. The cider house rebellion whispers on, early sun tinted green and gold. Warmth is rising, flicking its tongue. Banish the dark and revive the untold. Early sun tinted green and gold. Banish the dark and revive the untold.